Have you ever wondered what the future would look like? More specifically, the future of transportation? Hi, my name is Suhei and today I will be sharing with you the possibilities of commuting in the future. For the last century, cars have been our primary mode of transport. However, would they still be a viable option in the next 100 years? Do you know that an average driver in Los Angeles spends 119 hours yearly in traffic jams during their daily commute to work? And based on the US Department of Transportation, 6.7 billion gallons of gasoline are wasted in traffic jams each year. These are some crazy numbers. But what if I told you that the time spent waiting in traffic and amount of gasoline use could be significantly reduced? Imagine if you could reach home an hour earlier each day while reducing the total amount of CO2 emissions. What if you have the ability to assess remote locations which many conventional cars couldn't? All this sounds great, but they are not probable with our current transportation framework. However, the future of transportation is much closer than we think. Although we cannot entirely phase out conventional modes of transport, what we can do is start investing the time and research into the development of new methods for travelling. In 2003, NASA Langley Research Centre released the first technical paper to explain the difference in vehicle characteristics between personal aerial vehicles, also known as PAVs, and existing general aviation single-engine piston aircraft. Since then, multiple PAV variations have surfaced to provide alternative solutions not only to reduce the overall usage of fossil fuels, but also to resolve other issues in existing transportation frameworks. One of the promising PAV applications is Air Taxi, where several companies like Volocopter and Lilium are presently driving towards. In the years to come, they plan to provide on-demand flight services in urban environments to alleviate issues such as unpredictable traffic congestions on roads. At the same time, the implementations of these flying cars of the future has the potential to eliminate environmental issues to provide solutions that conventional cars cannot perform. PAVs promise to dramatically reduce the reliance on fossil fuels and overall emissions by being electrically powered. As mentioned before, traffic significantly contributes to carbon emissions which threatens our planet's delicate ecosystems and people's health. Traffic on the roads can be greatly reduced with the introduction of PAVs which provide faster commutes, eliminating unnecessary time spent on traffic and thus reducing carbon emission. Smaller than a commercial plane, most PAVs are designed with rotos instead of wings, which allows for vertical takeoff and landing, also known as VTOL operations, that is extremely beneficial in an urban environment, as there is no longer a need for a large space for runways. Hence, commuters will be able to go everywhere from anywhere in the future, so long as it is within reach of an air taxi. Additionally, PAVs can be customised for humanitarian purposes. A perfect example is the utilisation of jetpacks for a forest rescue. In September 2020, the Great North Air Ambulance Service partnered with Gravity Industries to design a jetpack that rescuers can use for a search and rescue mission. Richard Browning, chief test pilot and founder of Gravity Industries, flew from the valley bottom of Langdale Pikes in England's Lake District to a staged casualty site with his jetpack. It would have been a 25-minute climb by foot, but it only took Browning 90 seconds to reach the site. It illustrated the potential of jetpacks to deliver critical care services to remote locations. So let's summarise the features that PAVs have. Firstly, PAVs have the capability for VTOL operations unlike other conventional fixed-wing aircraft. This provides the PAV with the ability to assess rugged terrains for casualty evacuation. Secondly, depending on the application of the PAV, the size designs are often similar to an average car and coupled with VTOL capabilities, offering ease of deployability for operations. Next, PAVs significantly reduce travelling time compared to conventional vehicles due to undesirable congested jams, which can significantly affect the operations outcome. Lastly, most PAVs are designed to be powered by electrical means, hence reducing reliance on petroleum fuels. This will reduce the carbon emission created through aviation operations using PAVs, aligning with Federal Aviation Authority's continual efforts. These are the few key features that make PAVs a viable option to take on the role for the future of transportation. 
Well, the question in your mind now might be, if PAVs are so beneficial for current day applications, why haven't they been integrated into our modern society yet? Just like many innovations, there are limiting factors that disable integration to our existing framework. Fabian Nesman, Vice President of Public Affairs at Volocopter said that, on the macro level, ever-growing cities create a growing mobility need from the citizens in those cities that leads to a rethinking of the city. Changing or replacing existing infrastructures to make space for the development of PAVs takes a tremendous amount of time and work to fulfil. Depending on the application, supporting infrastructures like landing pads are required for VTOL operations in urban areas to facilitate landing and takeoff of the PAVs. Although not as demanding as a runway for a fixed-wing aircraft, it is a necessity to ensure safe operations. Furthermore, designated charging docks might need to be built openly to charge up batteries for the PAVs. In an urban environment, air traffic management is crucial in ascertaining a safe route for PAVs to fly in to avoid collisions with other buildings or other operating PAVs within vicinity or to prevent flying within restricted airspace that will lead to severe privacy breaches. Moreover, flying over densely populated areas poses a safety concern in the event where an undesirable incident may occur during the operation of the PAB. Next, noise pollution is also a cause for concern when considering the implementations of PAVs. A normal drone at a height of about 100 meters produces up to 50 decibel of noise, which may not seem much at first. However, since PAVs are much larger and heavier than a conventional drone, longer rotor blades and larger motors have to be utilised. This will inevitably increase the amount of noise generated. Based on a report by the European Parliament, millions of citizens living in the large cities express their concerns over noise pollution created by aviation operations and it is expected to grow in the future. Lastly, PAVs pose a significant threat to the safety of the general public. For example, in Hong Kong, there have been incidents of high-rise acid attacks. These attacks have caused severe injuries and the perpetrators were hard to catch as they were hiding among the high-rise buildings before they made their escape. With the excess of PAVs, it is the public's concern that the PAVs will be used for unethical purposes. Hence, there is a necessity for governments to implement stringent regulations and laws for PAVs operation to reduce possible occurrence of such events. There is no doubt that PAVs will have a vast impact on the future of transport, lifestyle, urban planning and the environment. The benefits PAV brings such as a reduction in the use of fossil fuel and ease of access to remote locations, among others, would certainly improve the current framework of modern-day transportation. However, we must be prepared to tackle issues revolving around the extensive effort of building infrastructures that support operations of the PAVs and address the public safety and privacy before its implementation. Nonetheless, experts have estimated that by 2030, people might be able to press a button and order an air taxi straight to their workplace, wherever that may be. As the director of NASA Aeronautics Research Institute, Paramount Copperdecker once said, one mile of road can take you one mile. One mile of aviation can take you anywhere. Once again, I'm Su Hui from Singapore and I invite you to join me as we look forward to the next generation of transportation. Till next time, bye!